Hey, good day, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Today, I'm going to do another black canvas painting for you, a little tutorial, or just enjoy it if you want to watch. But maybe there's some things you can learn today. I've got a black canvas. I've put liquid uh, liquid over it, black gesso, let it dry. Then I put this liquid on, got it nice and slick. You can see it's, it's shiny. And then I took and put some green and some blue and a little bit of brown up here on the top. And down here, I just put some phthalo blue. You can see it down here, there'll be water, maybe a crick, and then uh, there'll be like some light shining through and some trees and stuff. So it'll be kind of some, some a cool little area there. So let's get started. We'll try to get this one kind of quickly done today. I'm gonna move it up. Okay, that looks all right. Not too much glare. I've kind of tried to figure out my lighting. I'm gonna turn my, this a little bit more and put that there. So hopefully that's good and we can get started. So I'm gonna start out here with a little bit of, let's see, right? Oh, I don't wanna to get too much. Uh, there we go, I'm gonna have focus there. I don't wanna to get too much uh, color on here, but I wanna start out with some white and a little yellow, okay? And I'm gonna come right in here, and I want a bright spot right here, maybe right about here. Oh boy, see how that stands out? We'll pull that down, okay? And I'm gonna kinda go like this, and kinda make it go, like a, I don't know, kinda looks like a candle, doesn't it? There. And then we'll kinda come down, maybe a little bit into the water, see how that goes. I want too much blue up top though. There, grab some more white. There we go, see? Oop. Okay. I don't know if you can hear my tunes in the background, but sometimes this mic won't pick them up, so it's kind of nice. Okay, there's gonna be our light area, okay? And then we're also gonna have some, some more yellow, some white, and maybe, you know, we're gonna have some, just a little paint, but maybe there'll be some over here. Just some other stuff happening. Not much, a little bit here. Okay, where there's some light pulling through or that might be fine there, okay? Then I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna I'm gonna use this bigger brush here. I'm just gonna kind of come in here and just kind of blend these out a little bit. Maybe go up and down. That looks good. Just kind of go up and down with them. And that'll give us some background color shining through, hopefully. I don't know. I'm trying to make this easy, but really fun to look at. I did one the other day similar to it, and, and it, uh, it uh, looked pretty good. Then over here, we're gonna come in and just kind of blend this out, okay? Like this, and then I wanna kinda just blend it out here. See, follow it down. Just kinda make it, see how that goes? Try to keep the inside nice and bright. I could probably use a smaller brush here. Hopefully my head's not in the way, I've noticed it. Okay, and over here. There, and then see, so you can kind of pull those up. There. So that should start us out, what I'm trying to do. Maybe the cat's joining us today. So you've got some cool color there. And we'll see what we can put together here. I'm gonna knock some paint off. I can just hit my brush or whatever. Let me go over here and do that. There. So now we're gonna come in and we're gonna put some trees in here, okay? And uh, I think I'm going to use, uh, start out with a, I'm gonna have a little fan brush here and I'm gonna use some really light green, a little light green and some white and barely any, anything on the brush. And I'm gonna just kind of come in here and maybe put some distant little stuff going in here. You can barely see a little more green because it's gonna mix that white. There we go, right back in here. There, see a little bit there? Just a little, 
over here. A little bit here, just in the backgrounds. Put a little more color on there. They stand out a little more. There. I'm overdue. I just want something kind of back there that you can kind of see, okay? Because when that comes forward, let me put a little more green in there. I want to kill it all. There we go. That's what I want. Little green. I'm just grabbing a little green on my brush and tapping that in there. So it looks like some distant trees that are shining back into there. You know, maybe a little bit there. Just tapping. Back in there. 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 Just go up like that. So that'll give us an indication that there's some trees maybe in the back. Okay. A little coffee. My Jack, my cat Jack's here helping me today. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Now we're going to come in grab some of this green. I'm going to have to probably mix some more because we're going to put some dark, maybe get some phthalo blue in there. Mix up some more green. I use it all. My sap green. Okay. Throw a little brown in there too. We'll see. Okay. So we're just going to come and grab this green, mix it in here. Touch a blue in there. Maybe I don't want any we kind of want it dark, and if it's not dark enough, we'll put some uh, there. Okay, and we're just going to kind of come up here, and uh, today I want to do some, maybe some, uh, some pine trees instead, little different trees. Okay, or we'll see how it goes. It doesn't matter. I want to bring that in. And kind of darken that up. I might have to do a little bit of, maybe we'll put a little black in there. Make those a little darker, okay? However you want to do it, you know, this is a pretty easy way to paint. Get some black in there. I probably could have put some crimson in there too. Let's put a touch, now. Well, let's wait and see how this goes. Okay, I'm just rubbing it in the brush. It's going to darken it up a little bit. There we go. Just make some tree indications in here. See those holes? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Some more green, some black, a little bit of blue. I think I am going to throw a little crimson in there. That'll darken it up even more. And we'll give it... It's looking all right though. Not a lot of cream. Oops, that's way more than I wanted. But that's okay. Pull some of that green. There. Ooh, that might work out good. Okay, a little blue in there. Let's come back up here. Just tap. There we go. I'm gonna overwork them, but you just kind of want to have some indications. Okay. And then come over here. Don't kill all that dark though. Or that light, I should say. There. And I'm just kind of making little trees, like there's a little something coming through here. Blue, crimson, black, green. Okay, that looks good. I want to get a little more sap green on there. That's the color I want the most of in here. Need a lot of paint here, because I'm obviously, uh, my brush is getting... There we go. There we go. Okay, you just mix it on the brush. And just kind of make tree indications. And you're going to have that background coming down. Okay. Over here. Darken it up a little bit. See? And the bottom where the water is going to come out. There. Leave those little holes in there, though. Okay, and then you can have some little light coming through back there and just kind of, see that? And here's what we're looking for. I'm just kind of coming down and tapping. 
and putting some darker color in there. We're gonna put some highlights on, so. And I'm just grabbing whatever I can get my brush on. Put a little more crimson in there. Okay. A little darker as you get away from the, as you get away from the uh, light, right? That's not too bad. Yeah, over here. Close that in. <laughs> there, a little dark in here. Okay, over here, same thing. Just trees coming down. Okay, so it got a little bit of, uh, you've got a little bright spot in there and then you've got some stuff showing up over here. All right, you can come in and darken up some areas. Really dark over here. Down at the bottom, you want it to be darker. Right. Some black. Right down here, let's darken that up. There we go. Okay, get those little limbs out there. There, so we got that light coming through, right? And that's kind of what we're looking for here. We can bring it down farther if we want, but uh, we'll come back in and, and do some other stuff. So, next thing we're gonna do is get a little liner brush. I'm gonna have to thin this with some thinner, okay? Put that down. And I got this brown, and I'm just gonna come in and thin that, the brown, maybe a little black. Okay. Plenty of paint, and then we can come in and make some little tree indications coming down. Maybe there's one there. A lot of paint on here, so it's going to be a little difficult, but just kind of make some dark. Maybe dark. It's already dark paint on there, but little indications here and there. You know, maybe there's little things coming there. And those will kind of show up when we're done, hopefully. You know, maybe you got something coming here. You know, down here, maybe there's a tree there. Just some, wherever. Okay, I'm getting some glare, but that's better than you guys getting it on the, on, on the film. <laughs> okay, this is, we're gonna put some highlights over this, so. We're just kind of getting some little things up here. See how they're coming down? Maybe my brushes might be getting ready to get a new one of these. There. Maybe there's one that comes down here. I'm just twirling it like this, right on the tip, okay? Okay, can you see that? I hope you can. I'm gonna kind of stand to the side here and see how it looks, but um, there. Now you can kind of see some, some tree stuff there, okay? And let's mess around here and have some fun, okay? I'm gonna take, grab a fan brush, and I don't know where the one is I want. I should have had it out and ready. I know I washed it the other day. It was a new one. This one will work, okay? I'm not gonna wait around for that one. So I'm just gonna take some white, my canvas here. I don't need a lot, okay? It's got a little yellow in it, but So let's say, looks like our, let's say we're gonna have a little water, okay? Coming out of there. We're gonna turn this into a, See that, picking up that phthalo blue? And I use phthalo blue because that color is just awesome. Okay. There's water here. And I'm just coming down and doing little side strokes. And this will make it look like water. Brighter in the middle, right? I didn't want to lose your attention. That's why I jumped right into the water. We'll come back up and do the trees here in a bit. Okay. Look at that. And it just, there's not much paint, but it sure stands out, doesn't it? 
And I'm just going back and forth. You know, and this is just some light shining down into a little stream. Whatever. Okay, back in here. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna finish this. I'm just kind of putting color on a black canvas. And look at that, how it stands out. And these ones, I tell you what, people like these if you wanna make some money. Just kind of going back and forth, back and forth. Make sure it's level. <laughs> okay, and we can keep doing. Remember the light's kind of coming through here, so focus on this area first, okay? And let's make them a little bigger as you get farther away. See that? It's pretty, uh, I'm looking at the camera at the other angle to see how, if it's, uh, if you can see it okay. I'm gonna have a little bit of my delicious coffee here. Ah, mm, thanks for watching today. Um, so next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that brush, I'm gonna wipe it off. I should have a extra. These, these shop rags work good because they don't, they don't break apart very easy. I'm just gonna wipe it off and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna, I want this dark over here. I'm just gonna use whatever's on there. See, out here. Try to stay level. Okay, the more you rub it, the more it'll pick up the blue and probably get darker. So there, see, is my head in the way? Okay, and over here, just use the white that's on the brush. You want it darker over here. Okay, and down here, we can come back in and put a little more light in there. So you can see the water goes all the way out, but it's a little darker away from the light, right? And down here, we can come back in and get some more because we know the light is gonna shine down through this area, right? There. And I might even put some, some yellow glow in here. Come back in, don't overdo. You gotta have the dark spots. And when you just rock your brush, look how easy that is to make water. And it's uh, realistic, good looking water. Remember we're at an angle here, so it might look a little funny, but that's sometimes the only way to get the, to get the, uh, um, to get the glare from showing up on there. So, okay. So now what should we do next? We've got that in. The trees are in. Let's start putting some highlights on the trees. And I think when we start doing that, uh, it'll look pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna have to use a different brush. I might even go with a fan. Yeah, fan brush might work. So let's start with that. This fan brush we used, okay? I'm just using a paper palette here. So let's go in, grab some yellow, some of this green color I made, okay? And let's go in and just start I'm just tapping the color in there, okay? You can grab some green, whatever, doesn't matter. And we're gonna come in here and just touch. Counts, just count. One, two, three, one, two, three. See, sometimes you just gotta take your time. Tap, 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 or whatever. Okay. Darker at the bottom. See how easy that is to make those trees just kind of pop and it just makes that this area just start to shine, right? What do I need more of? I'm going to mix some of this up, okay? So I can make it. I started to use. So I'm going to take this color, take this yellow, okay? It's light. Take a little of that green. There. Some more yellow. And it's going to mix with the green that's on there too. Okay, maybe grab a little of that white. That's a pretty good mix there. And it's not, doesn't have to be, it can be marbled. You don't need to mix it to death. Okay, grab our fan brush. Come back in, and right now I don't have any paint thinner on here, but I'm just gonna tap it on the bristles. Okay, let's come over here. There. Okay. 
We could use a bigger brush. I think this is gonna look okay. Okay, tap. You can open the bristles up a little more. That'll make it look a little better. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, down here, darker to the bottom. Barely touch, okay? You want it to kind of disappear in the bottom, okay? Okay, over here, same thing. Just, you don't need a lot of paint. We're just kind of moving around like there's trees, okay? They're just kind of, just go and make some highlights. Kind of gives them a little bit of, you know, darker, darker, darker as you get away from the, as you get away, get a little bit more paint in there. Tap in there. Again, as you get farther and away from the light, let it get darker and down towards the bottom. At least you can just leave that dark. Put a little bit up here. Okay. Boom. Over here, same thing. Just nice tree indications here and there. And then right here, maybe there's some, see right down to the water. Maybe there's a little bank there. See that? I, don't know, I just changed my mind, but you gotta just tap that in there and then make a little bank. Same thing here. The light, layer it in there, there. So that's the, you have a little bank there. song just came on that I sang in karaoke one time. Okay, you can get a little blue in here. You watch, I'm just going to have a little blue on my brush. You can see that or not. Mixing with that color. There. There's your land. See how it comes over there? Gets a little darker as you get away. Watch this. Maybe it's Barely touch, barely touch. Back here, you want it just to kind of disappear into the dark. Disappear into the dark, okay? Now, if you think you got too much bright spots, you can come back in with your brush. Even this guy, remember the dark brush we used? And you can come back in and grab some dark that's on there and back in and touch in some darker areas. You don't like something? See, back here, over here, maybe a little blue on the green, some shadows back in there, see, it's not going to hurt anything, just don't overdo, you can come back and maybe make that pulls, kind of draws your, there, see how that works, and this is the big brush, and I'm using blue and some green in there. Some black, maybe right in here, some deep. And are we losing some of our, we're kind of maybe losing some of our uh, dark over there. This is a lot darker than it looks just because of the angle of the camera. So I don't wanna, there. So the trees, we can come back in and mess around with the trees a little more. And maybe we wanna put in a little white in there just to make it a little stand out a little more get a little blue maybe there watch this maybe we want to see our trees a little better so we can come in and maybe just a little bit there there see a lot of a lot of paint on the palette so you got to have some really thin you have to have a lot of I have a lot of paint thinner on here. It's a little lighter. Let me get some more. It's gotta be like ink. I'm just using some, yeah, some brown and white and whatever. See, there, that just gives it a little. My brush isn't as good as it used to be. Okay, some blue, a little. Just some good colors and see, just kind of come in and 
let it draw down and maybe they come down to the, the bottom here. There, just you can go up or down. Maybe there's some up here. Over here, darker. A lot of trees in there, though. I don't know what kind of trees they are, but... There. Just kind of get some limbs in there, so it gives you indications of some... You can see some things in there. And you can also come in, if you wanted to, take this little guy here and just scrape him in. Get some color in there. Down here. You can... There's black under there, so if you pull into there, you can you can pull out some of the black and you get right inside of them there. See? Over here, you want some... Maybe there's some limbs sticking up into there. You can do that. See? Little things. Whatever you want to do. So you got some really good looking light coming through there the water okay okay let's get back down to our water we're gonna have some sort of a little we're gonna have some sort of a little bit of a some shore here so let's come in and grab some dark brown right here and then just kind of maybe right in here just touch a little of that see Kind of a little shore down there. Come over here, maybe it comes there. I gotta get some, maybe it's a little darker over here. A little green, I don't know. We're running out of, uh, we gotta get some uh, more brown, umber. It's a good short, brown's a good color for dirt. If I can't hear me, I'm away from the mic. Okay. And this is a simple painting. It's, it's, uh, okay, get some more brown and just, you know, kind of come in here and just, just a little bit, okay? Tap it on there, right to there. Maybe that little piece comes out of there, okay? Then you can take some white, okay? And mix it in there. Get it on there and put some highlights on here. Just a little bit in there. Let it get darker as you get farther from the water. Okay, go fast. Don't don't try to be too detailed. Let it be darker as the way farther you're away. Okay, okay just a little more right there. Just kind of <sighs> like it's a little ragged. So something the water's coming out of there somehow or another, right? Okay, and we're gonna come in here and maybe a little of this. Watch this. I'm gonna get some yellow on the brush here. I hope I don't mess this up. Just wanna come in here and see that? <laughs> you get too much, maybe a little white. See? Got to be kind of, this is just pure yellow. I might come in and put some white on it too. I'm just trying to get a little sheen from where that comes in, you know? See? And this can get green in the water because water has green in it, so. There. Just do the same thing. That gives you a little, little yellow coming through there. Maybe we can do, I don't want to add a lot of white to it, but I need some more white. So put a little white at the bottom of the canvas. Okay. Touch white on there. Just on the tip of this little guy, okay? See how it goes. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Doesn't look bad. I'm okay with that. Still, I'm kind of crisscrossing a little bit. There. 
So that just kind of kind of comes out of there. Yeah. What else are we going to do? Should we put something on the bottom? I think we could do something like this. Watch this. Take that dark brush, the blue, all that green and blue. Maybe throw a little crimson on there, black. Okay, just mix it all together. Green, crimson, blue. See how dark that is? That's what we want. So let's see, what are we gonna do here? We got all this stuff. We got all this, to, you know, looks good, but maybe we could put a little something. Oh boy, what do you think? Uh, maybe a little right here. Right down to there. How's that look? It's just sitting in front of there. You could have been a, and here, just a little foreground. You could ruin the painting, but we're just practicing, okay? There, so you got that now. Still got the water, right? Everything looks good, the light's coming through. And now, we're gonna grab this brush, and we're gonna have some fun here, okay? This is the one I used earlier. Get some of this color, okay? Green and yellow. I'm gonna put some paint thinner on there, okay? And we're just gonna come in here and this will push a lot back, but we're just gonna come over here and I don't know, just tap. Okay, maybe there's a little, a little, comes down like that. I know that's super bright, but okay. You just kind of let it get darker as it goes away. Just a little, who knows, a little ridge there. <laughs> it kind of closes everything in, doesn't it? Come over here, same thing. Get a little white in there if you want, a little more yellow. Get a little more paint thinner, okay. Okay, just maybe there's, there. I know that's bright and then just let it fade away. Not a lot. Okay, let it kind of darken up as it gets away. And you got some little things popping up there. Okay, and then we can come in and maybe yeah, right here, this kind of goes maybe this way. There, kind of pushes that back a little bit. Okay, we'll go with that. I just made that up. So uh, this painting wasn't planned, so if it gets out of control, that's okay. But it just shows you how you can, you know, how much fun you can have with these. Okay, I would like to try and darken the back a little more. So I'm gonna take some of this and come over here, watch this. Dark in this area. Okay, up in here. Because that's farther away from the light. And I don't know how that's looking on your end, but I want it darker over here. Okay. And it still gives you the indication of the trees. I'm trying to get your eye more for it towards the middle. That looks alright. Good color. And we can uh, this this should turn out you know, pretty good when it's all said and done, but I'm gonna maybe try to get some more limbs in there, but we'll see. Um, let's see, what do we wanna do? Wanna pull some grass up maybe, where we're at there? Cause you can just take that same brush and maybe just kind of come up a little bit. Maybe, maybe there's a little bit down here. It ends there, right there. It gets a little rougher. You know, mix the paint a little bit. Might come in and do that. I don't know, this brush's got a lot of paint on it, but that's okay. Pull that up. 
like that. Some stuff coming over the side there. Okay, so you got that. Maybe should we put in another tree in front of that? Watch this. I have an idea here. Okay, we got some dark. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Come in here and grab some dark. And maybe we can do a little tree right here. Okay, right down to there. Maybe there's a tree there. And that can be difficult because of all the paint, okay? So we're gonna come in and put some highlights on there and we can fix that, okay? So maybe there's a tree right there. That might push some stuff back too, okay? And then we'll come in with our, this brush, the lighter color, okay, get some yellow yellow get some green maybe some of that other green it's not as close but we can come in and you know maybe come in and see that i can see some indications of that tree coming down here hey just make him come right out of there doesn't have to be super some darks see Maybe he goes all the way over there, you know, there. So you can throw that in there. There's another tree in there. Okay, not bad. Come back here and maybe put some more of this in. Or you can come back in with your brush you had and tap some of this back in on the bottom. See, not that hard. Okay, so what do we have for time here? 37 minutes. Okay, we want to get some more highlights on that tree though in the front, don't we? Get some yellow. I'm gonna get some pure yellow. There, get that on there. Some paint thinner. Okay, come over here and just tap. See? I don't know, it doesn't look too bad. Don't overdo. You know, just kind of get those little edges on this side. A little bit in the middle. There you go, you got a tree sitting there. And that looks pretty good, huh? Maybe we should, should we try one on the other side? <laughs> Come back in. We'll try it on the other side or should we just leave it? I think that looks okay. We could do, actually, maybe we can come in here and just build one out of here. See, with it's so dark. Let's try this. Maybe there's one right here. See? And he comes right down to there. Okay. There. Put him right to there. Maybe there's another one right here. We gotta have three, don't we? But I want it to kind of come this way, so I'll just put him right there. We're getting some. There, so you got that one, he kind of curves over. That kind of pulls it all together on that side, doesn't it? That don't look too bad. A little bit here, and then a little bit of highlighter. Kind of mush those in front. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, I used to do it on the other side too, but I don't think we're going to. Maybe. Should we try to bring those together too? Let's do this. Okay. There. So that one comes over too, just using highlights because there's so much dark in the back, right? There. If you don't like it, that's all right. Maybe that tree's there. There, make him a little bigger. He comes all the way down there. We're gonna have to get a little more. We've got a lot of paint there. See, I'm just tapping and grabbing some color. 
because we have the light over here, so we want to kind of have some some trees on there. That, you know, maybe they're. That don't look too bad, huh? Get that light. More white. Get a little light in there. And come down here. Maybe there's just a little really bright stuff happening. You know, maybe here. No idea. Just trying to make it look cool. Huh? Now if you get too much, what do you do? You come in with your dark brush and you tap some areas. You can. There's getting to be a lot of paint on there, so you gotta kinda you gotta kinda make sure that you don't uh, start mixing mud, which is not too Okay, maybe we got a little little tree branch or little stems in there coming down. Not much. Right there. Very light. There. I'm tripping over my cat, but he likes to hang out with me. There. Water, trees. Come back in here and maybe throw in some little things here. highlights on these trees just very easy just touch lightly touch and there's one there see you can spend a lot of time on this I'm not gonna but a little tree or a twig there you know something that comes out into here you know just like that, gives it a little, so you have everything that you can see there. And it's, it looks good. This is getting a glare. It's pretty dark over on that side, but you got your trees and, and your things happening. And uh, you could come in here, this darker brush, and just tap in some dark here. See, Doesn't, just get that in there. And, this brush, there's a lot of paint, so, you know, and that just gives you a little dark. And darken these corners a little down here. Get dark. And then you kind of will... There, I like that better. Kind of a little bluff there. And if you want a little more dark here and there, you can, like, push it into there without... You know, starting to mix pretty good. And so, but it still doesn't look bad. So you got some light coming in. Ow, Jack, stop. And uh, some trees in the front there. And I think they look good. I think we could. <laughs> I like that sneaking in over there. And you have all this in the water. So it looks good. You could come and, gosh, there's a lot you could do. You could, maybe you got a little something over here. Something over there, a little color. Beneath a little more, just a little more. Maybe go straight on. See? Too much. How's that look? There, kind of give a little more in there just to kind of draw the eye in. And I think we're good. I think we've got some good color. And I think. We're about done. I want to get a little more dark in here. It's going to take some, yeah, I think uh, I'm darken that up a little bit, but I think I just need some, a little more black. Okay, I'm going to mix it over here. There. And you can use any brush you want here. I'm just using a fan brush up here. Get some black. And that green, yeah. If you want, you come in here and darken these up a little more. It's going to be hard to see that. Some black and green in there again. If it's too much. So up in here. You can overwork them, but you saw? There. That kind of pushes, makes that tree not as bright. Gives it a little depth. You know, maybe you can come in here. 
I'm kind of mixing this black with what's left over palette. I mean, you can get in here and just throw those in. It kind of breaks it up a little bit. If it's too bright. I think it's all right though, you know? You got the black, you can come down here. Always darker, darker, darker down here and then it will pull your eye more towards the middle, okay? Um, I wouldn't mind trying one more. Like right in here, it'd be hard, but I'm just gonna come in and go tap that. See that? When you got that much paint, oh, this brush is great. $1.99. See? Look at that. Buck 99. Maybe right here. Going a little bit right. Right there. I think that looks good. So I think we've got a good painting there. And uh, hopefully this is, uh, enjoyed this one. And it gives you a little more something to work on. And uh, have a good day. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.